Joseph DeLuca killed his entire family because he thought that he was going to be cut out of the will and was not going to receive an inheritance. I'm Queen with Soft Eye Boutique here to follow up on a video that I did. I'm going to try to link it up or link it in the comments below. Still learning how to use YouTube, but I did a video. Let me go back to it. It was called The Truth About Dating Guys Born Into Rich and Wealthy Families, Soft Life and Hypergamy Lies. And in that video, I specifically warned young ladies why they should not go after a guy who is waiting on his family, usually it's the, the parents or the grandparents to die in order for him to get an inheritance. That is not how this is supposed to go. I do have to preface this because people love to speed, watch my videos, take things out of proportion. I know what I'm saying, but well, out of context, I know what I'm saying. I am a licensed Louisiana attorney this is something that I, I see all the time. And this nothing in this video is legal advice whatsoever. Just for educational, and informational, and entertainment purposes. But this is something that I come across in my life as an attorney. And it's actually woke me up to the reality of things. When I start shifting from the conscious community mindset, because going to law school actually helped me do that. And I think I'm going to do another video about that. But also, we had to take a class called Successions. In other states, it's called probate. But Louisiana, we're civil law. And then as I started practicing, as I started taking on cases that involve issues like this, especially when it comes to homes, inheriting homes, land, a lot of that will be called a movable property. But of course, also money as well you never want to be in a situation with a guy who is waiting on that because that is not true manhood okay i am never going to say that not you're not supposed to leave an inheritance to your children or your descendants because if you do have it and you can leave it that is amazing but I will always stress this into my last breath. An inheritance is only land yap. In Louisiana, land yap means extra. An inheritance should only be land yap to what you have already acquired for yourself, especially if you are a male. Okay? I mean, the people... Some females can get away with it. Definitely people who have special needs, you know, they have an exception. But not the guys. Seriously. If anybody, anybody is sitting around, male or female, sitting around waiting for an inheritance, they are extremely lazy and that inheritance will not last, okay? That will not be a perpetual inheritance. And per perpetuity means eternity, okay? Okay. So because of their mind state, because, and I'll never say that your parents are not supposed to have things set up to where it's supposed to be of ease for you because they are, but also you should also be imparted with the mindset that if all of that goes away, you'll still be able to survive. You'll still, still be able to build and create your own form of wealth if something happens and you don't get that inheritance and a lot of people aren't being imparted with that mindset so that is why we see things like a joseph delucia just killing everybody in his family because this man late 50s okay what is coward in his late 50s thought he was gonna be left out of the will which means that he wasn't going to have a home because he was still staying in his mom home. And so he decided that he was just going to blow everybody's brains out, which he did. Okay. 
And there are some, of course, you know, they're always bringing into the, the mental health element and all of that. That's fine. It is what it is. They're always going to bring that argument. But this is a common occurrence. This is a common occurrence amongst all different ethnicities, households, all of this. And that is the way, the reason why I live my life the way that I do and how I've learned how to really choose men. Okay. Nothing is wrong for them being born into the wealth. I'm never going to shame anybody behind that. Nothing is wrong for having a life of ease. But if you get into the situation where you feel like you're going to be cut out of the wheel or you're siblings or whoever it is trying to steal everything from you or something happens then you just go off killing that you know un well it is what it is unaliving everybody and then taking your own life that's not cool you don't want to be with somebody like that i know i don't want to be with somebody like that and it also tells you their mindset like they're really really lazy and mental <laughs> mental health Okay, it's, it's a sexually transmitted disease. I don't think people realize that because when you lay down and make a baby, when you procreate to make a baby, that is intercourse, that is coitus, that is a sexual activity. And children, they do more than likely take on the mental health patterns of their one or both of their parents or certain, you know, personality traits or behavioral characteristics so you just don't want to procreate with that it, it i i just kind of i'm not going to name the family here but it's a prominent family that i grew up with in my time and by the time in my generation because they back from slave time you know they they i guess their their maternal ancestor was a mistress a high yellow mistress and, uh, you know, they just kept procreating and procreating like that. And by the time my generation came about, they're just filled with mental illness, mental disease. It's, it's just a really horrible bloodline. And when I was younger, I started to kind of put two and two together, but didn't really have the proper words and terms to voice what it was that I was observing and then, of course, flash forward, went to law school, and I was like, that is why this family is like this. Oh, my God. And so I try to share this with y'all, those of you who want to receive it. It's real. These things happen. And don't put yourself or your descendants in a situation where they're going to be like Joseph DeLucia, a, a murder-suicide. And I don't want you all to do that, go into that blind and not knowing. And, and a lot of young ladies, especially if you may come from a background like I did and you weren't really exposed to families of high wealth and, and rich families and all of that, I don't want you to go into these situations blindly. Because we see that a lot with this soft life and hypergamy. That is, those are the type of guys that you're probably going to end up with, okay? Mm -mm. Somebody, that's a huge red flag. Somebody sitting around waiting for an inheritance, waiting for somebody to, basically they're waiting for somebody to die. And that's, that's not cool. That is never cool. And just, just don't do it, ladies. <laughs> Queen with soft eye boutique.